Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about organizing your business finances, and I'm going to talk about the four accounts that I use to help me really stay on top of my business finances. So I have pulled out a sheet of paper. I also have put it in four quadrants. I am gonna use some stickers because I just love decorating these types of spreads, and I'm going to be using the Wild Styled Sticker Book from Happy Planner. So I recently went to an event called Finance is for freelancers and in that event we were diving into organizing your business finances what does it look like how can you make sure that you stay on top of them and how can you make sure that you're not commingling funds and so this is what i was talking about there this method that I was using and I just decided to do a video on it so that you guys can know about it as well. So here is the structure that I will use for my business finances. The very first bank account that I have, it is a checking account and it is my operating checking account. In my operating account, my income comes in and I also have transfers that go out. And this helps me to stay on top of how much money I have coming in on a monthly basis. Now, nothing else really goes out of this account other than transfers into the other three accounts that we're going to be talking about. And this allows us to really stay on top of everything else that's going on and make sure that no money is being spent without my knowledge. The next account is also a checking account and this is for payroll and expenses. Coming out of this account is all of our subscriptions, any bills that we may have on a monthly basis. Payroll will also come out of this account and also any supplies or anything else that we need to run the business. So when we get income coming in from our operating account, I will also look at the expenses that are coming up for the next upcoming week or the next upcoming month. And I may transfer over any money that we need from the income into our expense account. The third account is the growth account. This is also another business checking account. For the growth account, we have any upcoming projects. This is stuff that's outside of the things that we are normally doing within our business. So this would be upcoming projects that I may wanna complete, training that I wanna complete that's going to help me to grow my business, conferences that I want to attend, or any coaching that I feel like I might need. Having a growth account allows me to save money for anything that helps me to grow my business. So this is a great account for you to have to make sure that you're staying on top of all of the things that you need you're constantly growing and you're not stuck in the loop of just using your money for your expenses and your payroll you're actually thinking about how to grow your business and the last account is going to be your savings account and your savings account is going to be for saving for a rainy day. So I like to have one month of payroll and one month of expenses that I would need in order to run my business in this account, along with any additional savings or anything else that I might be trying to save for for my business. This account can really help you if you run into any issues with raising income or sales through your business. I know that I have one month of payroll and expenses here, but the ultimate goal is to have six months of savings savings in this account because you want to have money set aside in case you get sick, in case anything happens and you need to possibly shut down your business for a period of time or if the business just isn't doing well and we hit a rough patch. You want to have some savings that's going to help you out of that rut. And so these are the four accounts that I keep within my business that help me with my money structure. So I've talked about it before how I have four personal accounts and four business accounts and these are the four business accounts that really help me to stay on top of it all. I will transfer money every time I pay myself from my operating to my expenses and then once I run payroll, it goes directly into my personal bill account. And having this structure helps me to make sure that I know everything and where my money is going. I will just transfer to my expense account, transfer to my growth account, transfer to my savings account, and usually it's 10% to savings 10% to growth and then whatever I need for my business expenses which is usually around 40% and then I will leave some money sitting in my operating account and I know that any money that's sitting in this account is up for grabs in any one of these other accounts as I need it. So I know that this was a short video but I hope that this one helped you. If you have any structure around your business finances that you want to leave in the comments below I would love to hear from you and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, 
keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.